Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Ray's I can see I'm trading. Today is April 20th, 2022. And today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the Dow Jones rallying over 500 points yesterday after IBM comes out with quarterly earning reports. Now, there's no major economic event scheduled for today. But as we look at the various markets, starting out with the fork symbols, we're watching the major pairs find a bottom, at least for now. Looking at the indices, I've spoken the Dow Jones rallies, NASDAQ modest gains after yesterday's surge, and looking at commodities, gold and oil retrace as a result. Looking at the stocks, IBM surges on revenue gains, and lastly, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin gaining modestly. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we are, we're looking at a Euro USD at a daily chart. And this is the first time we've had this green bar, okay? I mean, it's not a big deal. We may be bounced over 30 pips, 40 pips, but that's, you know, significant for where we've been trading until now, okay? From 107.70-ish level up to 108.17, okay? It's not a big deal, okay? But you do want to know that it's finding some sort of bottom, at least for now. Looking at the GBP USD, same story. We're kind of surging here after hitting this 130-ish level, which is a very crucial area. Looking at the Australian dollar, also gaining a little bit above its eight-day moving average, the Australian dollar being the strongest of the three pairs. So this is something to take note of, okay? Now, looking at commodities, gold, retracing to 1943 if we look at a four hour chart it is once it broke those two moving averages with some gusto you can see it even retraced further from 1970 down to 1943 and this is pretty much a supportish area okay previous resistance subsequent support so keep an eye on this later today looking at crude oil also breaking lower here to 102 that's significant after hitting a high of 108 now looking at the indices the dow jones surging yesterday look at this 34 34,300 up to 34,800. Now, this is a resistance -ish area, okay? If we look at the top line here, we could see it quite clearly. So if there's not going to be consistent results here, consistent buying, you could pretty much imagine that it's going to correct itself. I mean, look at this. This is a downwards momentum here in terms of the volume. So this is really just indicative of the fact that it's short squeeze. It's a it's a short squeeze covering after hitting this range that we've been trading with. Now remember back in March, March 10th, we were trading all the way down here at 32,700 level. So this is significant. Okay, this has been a really big rally for the Dow Jones. And as corporate earnings start to reveal itself, we're going to see what's going to happen in the next couple of months. Now looking at the Nasdaq, didn't fair as well, okay, which I would have expected it to push up to 15,000, whereas I believe it's showing itself more some more relative weakness here against itself vis-a-vis -vis the stocks. Now, looking at the individual stocks, they all gained. Apple gained to 167. Facebook gained nicely to 217. Microsoft also gained, but these gains are quite modest, okay? I mean, if we look at IBM itself, okay, IBM surged yesterday only about five points, four points, okay, which is really not a big deal, okay, so this gain is brought on with, with some trepidation, I mean, you know, and so I do expect some sort of a sell-off later as a result of this, okay, but that's as long as we don't get continued buying and buying pressure in the market. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, it did gain itself back, okay, back to to 41,320 cents, it's still in a very tight range, okay? Altogether, we're, you know, just trading sideways since we've made the correction from 48,000 down to 38,000, okay? So this is really just a just a bounce here to 41,000. So keep that in mind as this is still correcting itself. This is Fred Rezac. I want to wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.